What's going on, guys? Swaggy, you're back. The Pelicans are talking a Brandon Ingram trade with five teams, Knicks, Heat, 76ers, Kings, and Rockets. You've seen Raphael Stone be aggressive throughout free agency in the trade market and the draft, trading for Cade. Now Brandon Ingram. We've seen Damian Lillard. So it's clear that Raphael Stone wants a rebuild, but he doesn't want to rebuild for the next decade, right? Like he wants maybe a couple of years, but he's trying to get talent right now. And I'm looking at the Rockets. They've got Nets picks. They've got their picks. All these picks aren't going to translate to superstar players, star players. So if they can package multiple picks for Brandon Ingram, that's definitely a possibility. But we have to be realistic here. The Pelicans are going to want to play player back because Zion Williamson's there. And if they're trading Brandon Ingram, yeah, they want future assets, but also they need to win now or Zion's going to leave. If they miss the playoffs again, Zion could be on his way out. So what can the Rockets offer? I don't think anything. Like, I really don't. KPJ and Wood? We're not giving up Christian Wood for Brandon Ingram. I think I'd rather have Christian Wood. I think Brandon Ingram, it's tough because Brandon Ingram averaged, what, 25 this season? Ingram... Let's take a look. He's got a 7-3 wingspan. He's 6-8. He's 23. Oh, my goodness. I thought he was like 25. Jesus. Ingram, maybe I, I I wouldn't trade Wood. Stop it. I would not trade Christian Wood but because then we'd have to give up more anyway. He averaged 24-5-5 five five this season with a 19.24 PER. I, I really would like to tell you guys that we could offer this for Ingram, but... Like, they're not going to take Tate and picks. For Ingram, I would do that. Ingram's three is younger and obviously is more talented. He's four inches on him. We're not giving up KJ because, like, I, I would give up KJ, but, like, they again, they need a player back. Like, for example, RJ Barrett for Brandon Ingram I think is more realistic here, but for the Rockets, we just don't have anything to give up. But they are talking with them, so they must have something they like. We're not giving up the second pick for Brandon Ingram. So what are we giving up? I, I really couldn't tell you guys that side, but I can tell you that Brandon Ingram and Christian Wood together would be very scary. They could put Ingram at the four, Wood at the five. At the three, they'd go Tate. Two would be Green, and then one would be KBJ. I think that team right there is getting into the playoffs. Remember as well, we technically still have John Wall and Eric Gordon on the roster. Oh, wait a minute. Eric Gordon. Maybe they want Eric Gordon, but we'd have to throw in so much picks. They do. I know they're interested in Eric Gordon. He actually makes sense for them off of their bench, but you don't trade Brandon Ingram for Eric Gordon. So that's the thing is like, what are we giving up? I have absolutely no idea, but I'm looking at Brandon Ingram and this guy can score the basketball. His most recent games obviously did not play particularly well, but on the season, I mean, he averaged 24. And the difference between him and Sexton is that Ingram, again, is seven inches taller, has a 7'3 wingspan, and he can play the three, he can play the four. Where Sex and also Sexton, I mean, Ingram, I kind of, he does. I don't know too much about Brent Ingram, but I'd imagine he needs the ball in his hands because him and Zion, I don't think it's that great of a fit. But then if you bring in Brandon Ingram, like let's say we keep KPJ and, J and Jalen Green, we bring in Ingram. Now we have. What did Ingram shoot from three is my my question. 38 from three. Okay, so you can shoot. You can catch and shoot threes. I think it would be really interesting. I don't want to get copyrighted for this, but yeah, I mean, Ingram is just getting better every season. But the reason why the Lakers traded him is because they knew that he wouldn't be able to mesh with LeBron. They, they kept Kuz because he was a better off-ball player. So can Ingram play off of the ball? Because I'm looking at Kevin Porter Jr. and Jalen Green, and these guys need the ball in their hands. I'm not saying that they can't play without the ball, but they're going to need the ball in their hands to to be at the, the best level. And Ingram does too. Ingram isn't an all-ball player. So how would this work? I don't know. But all I do know is that I would love Brandon Ingram in Houston. I just am not sure how this would work. I don't think it can work. And I'm looking at some other teams. But like the Heat, who are they going to offer? Tyler Hero? So, I mean, but Tyler Hero is better than what we would offer though. So I don't think we'll get Brandon Ingram, but I love that Stone is being aggressive. I love that these two teams are talking a trade, and I hope we get him. But I'm going to sign here because as soon as I basically got down to eat, I saw this, um, and I wanted to talk about it. So early early video, man. 
I'm not going to go crazy. I don't think this happens, but it's something cool to talk about. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. As always, it's Swaggy. I'm signing out. Peace.